Almost beat him. Whitaker didn't, you know, he was. You're watching the 2024 15th Region Tournament live on the mountain's number one source for sporting news, the D&D &D Sports Network. Tonight's matchup, McGolfin County versus Johnson Central. Game sponsors are State Representative Ashley Tackett Lafferty, Crumb Funeral Home, City of Coal Run, Pike County Sheriff Rodney Scott, Hot Rods Pizza, Matt Hager Law, Hilton Homes of Ival, Southern Prep, Pike County Attorney Paul Howard Jr., Love Homes, Punks Tires, Hall and Jones Funeral Home, Pike County District Judge Robbie Wright, Sayersville Funeral Home, Tommy Maynard Auto Sales, Mexican Restaurant in Inez, Smoking Hot Vape Shop, Man Toyota, man, what a deal. Howard Family Pharmacy, Corey Conley at Conley Brothers Giovanni's and Convenient Drug, J.I. Fab, Southside Buildings and Carports, Glenn Martin Hammond, Attorney at Law, 606 Hemp, Corey Hayes at Hayes Training System, Pike County Jailer Brian Morris, Dr. Alan Baldwin at Maynard Chiropractic, Kirk Law Firm, Custom Print and Design, Rock Fork Regular Baptist Church, Solid Rock Development, Personal Injury Attorney Ray Jones, Sloan Chiropractic in Sayersville. Enjoy the tournament, folks. Welcome everybody, we are live here at the Appalachian Wireless Arena. Man, have we had a great two games leading into the final game of the night. You got Kevin Keithley, Thomas Rainey, Joe Kidzer, and Daryl McCoy on the call with Jaden Scott and Jackson Estridge on the cameras. Guys, Johnson Central versus McGolfin, all 57th district semifinal matchup here. Hey listen, it's everything that you had hoped for as a basketball fan. It, the energy in this building is boncos. You got great team play, you got great coaches, and as Daryl mentioned, you're gonna have an all 57th district championship final. The only thing left to decide, will it be Johnson Central or will it be Aiden Barnett making his first trip, at, <clears throat> excuse me, in McGolfin County's first trip in a long, long time to the region final. Guys, big time talent on the floor for both squads here. Let's take a look at the key players coming into this matchup. Tonight's matchup, McGolfin County versus Johnson Central. Key players to watch, Johnson Central freshman, Austin Sloan. 
Golfin County Senior, Aiden Barnett. And we are back here, as you see, McGolfin County right now warming up. You know, they have beat Johnson Central three times this year. Guys, we talk about how hard it is to beat a team three times, let alone four times. Darrell McCoy, we were there at McGolfin County when they laid, they took Johnson Central to the woodshed and put them over their knee. They were up <laughs> by 35 plus and uh, never looked back. I don't even think Aiden Barnett played most of the fourth quarter in that game. So you know Johnson Central, listen, they on top of wanting to get to that region final and get to Rupp Arena, they got a little extra chip on their shoulder after taking that butt whooping down at McGolfin County. They do 100%, you know, and I, it, it's going to be interesting to see exactly how this team uh, responds after being beat three times psychologically. How do you respond from that? You've got the youngest team in the 15th region, nine freshmen, against a senior late. Oh, we talked about this the last time, Daryl. McGolfin County has nine seniors against nine freshmen. It is the battle of youth versus the battle of, of, of the present and the battle of veteran leadership. So, listen, we're going to get a good opportunity, a good idea of what, what Johnson Central's made of tonight. It Was that a fluke? Was that perception? Was that reality? We're going to find out. Well, I'll tell you this. You're not going to get me to bet against Tommy McKenzie, you know, especially on a fourth time. Tommy McKenzie, Elijah Justice, Chandler Thompson are three of the best in the business in the 15th region. It's going to be hard, but Scott Castle, what he's done this year with this McGolfin County team, every game out, he continues to defy odds. Absolutely, Darrell McCoy. Joe Kinzer, you know as well as anybody, you've been covering them for a long time, what uh, Tommy McKenzie uh, does, especially come February and March. Well, I tell you, I got bored the other day at the house. We always say that Tommy McKenzie, it's hard to beat him. You better get him, beat him early in the year. And he's 17th year at Johnson Central. In the month of December, his winning percentage is only 57%, 570. In January, it climbs to 648. In February, it goes up to just under 70% winning percentage. And you know what? Here's Tommy McKenzie three times against McGoffin County, okay? Johnson Central is the team of the future that wants to be the team of today. They got waxed the first go around by 40. KJ told me that. I said, I'm not going to bet against the Colin McKenzie team. The second go around, Johnson Central shot 55% from the floor. They still lost the game by eight. The third go around in district play, they took McGoffin County into overtime. This kind of reminds me Two years ago in the state tournaments in 20, 2022 in West Virginia, when Logan beat Scott three times, twice in the regular season, one time in the sectional finals, and then Scott got the payback and revenge on the Logan Wildcats the fourth go around. Uh, that's a great point, Joe Kinzer. Always tough to beat a team three and four times. This will be no different. And with Coach McKenzie, this team has continued to evolve, continue to improve throughout the year. And oh yeah, let's not forget, we knew how good Austin Sloan was as a freshman. We knew that. But let's talk about how much, uh, uh, let's talk a little bit about the improvement of Kyle Rose. Kyle Rose has came a long, long way since the beginning of the year. He has became a dominant big in the paint. And that's kind of been the, kind of the difference in Johnson Central being average to being good. And Kyle Rose has had some double digit games in the postseason. Right. So he's just up these games. I mean, these nine freshmen for Johnson Central, they're not freshmen anymore. Right. They're sophomores, I mean, not, li literally speaking. They yeah. have all the experience that they gained. You're exactly right, Joe. Nine freshmen versus nine seniors, Aiden Barnett, leads the region in scoring. He's top five in the state in scoring. And then Austin Sloan, that small forward, and he plays a little bit everywhere, but he'll run that small forward, he'll run that power forward position, and Tommy McKenzie puts him in positions 
he puts him in yep. positions to score the basketball. Absolutely. You, you know, and I, we talked about before the break, and I've, I've got to give my remember the Titans analogy because I've been wanting to use this for two days, and Daryl's like, oh, God, Joe Kinsler, I'm scared to death what you're going to say. But Aiden Barnett, he's got something in common of like Coach Boone on Remember the Titans when Coach Boone was taking his team for team bonding up to uh, Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, where they were loaded the bus. He asked Gary Bertier, his star defensive player, he goes, Who's your daddy, Gary? Who's your daddy? And Gary had to answer, okay? Aiden Barnett is averaging 37 points per game in the three matchups against Johnson Central. So far, Aiden Barnett has had the opportunity to ask Johnson Central, hey, who's your daddy? But will Johnson Central finally quiet him down tonight in the fourth matchup? Joe Kinsler, very dominant, Aiden Barnett all year long, Daryl McCoy. Yeah, I was looking at the comment section. It is lit up. Jennifer Shepard says, watching from the stands. Go Eagles. Appreciate you, Jennifer Shepard. How about that? How many fans have their ears up to their phone? I tell you what, though, let's say this. Let's challenge McGoffin County and Johnson Central to beat that last game. 12.4 thousand. Wow. wow. 12,400. The Maestro says it cannot be done. Guys, we got a premier matchup coming up right now. Let's take a look at the tail of the tape. All right, here we go. First for the visitors on the scoreboard, the Johnson Central Golden Eagles, a record of 15 and 13. They were the play-in qualifier, Coach. Remember, they came back to beat Shelby Valley on Saturday to make it into the Elite Eight. Head coach, Tommy McKenzie. They're scoring 68.6 points a game, giving up 68.9. Led by the super sensational freshman, Austin Sloan, 26.7 points a game, grabbing 31 rebounds. They're led in rebounding by the big man, Kyle Rose, at 9.2. 48% from the field, 32% from behind the arc, and almost 69% from the free throw line. Now, the McGoffin County Hornets, the runner-up of the 57th district with a 19-13 record, led by head coach Scott Castle, scoring 68.4 points a game, giving up 63.9. They're led in scoring by Mr. Everything, Mr. 3000, they call him in Salyersville. That is Aiden Barnett, averaging 29 a game. They grab 28 boards. Their lead, leading rebounder is Zane Whitaker at 7.7. Shoot 50% from the field, 33% behind the arc, but here's the difference. Almost 75% as a team for the foul line, Daryl. Yeah. So, McGoffin County defeated Johnson Central 63-70, or 60, 73-67 in overtime in the 57th District Semifinals on February 27th. So, well, McGoffin has beat them three, three times already this year. But what stands out, both these teams nearly identical, averaging 68 points a game. As I said, John Central is the only team that gives up more points than they average. So they'll have to do better. They got that a little closer with the other night's victory. But they still got some work to do. They got to slow down Aiden Barnett because, like I said, he's averaging 37 points a game against Johnson Central. So I don't know if Tommy McKenzie, Coach Keith, thinks he'll play him straight up and he'll junk some defense. But, guys, the Expo Center, Appalachian Wireless Arena, it is the house that Tommy McKenzie has built because he has picked up 25 wins wow. in this arena and five regional championships. Yeah, that, uh, he's got an unbelievable record here in this building. Guys, Southside Building Carport comment section, Crystal N Nilo Puyat says, go Hornets. Uh, you all got this. Calvin Lamaster says, can't be done. All of McGoffin County is there. And Grayson Papa is watching from Florida, go Hornets. Angie Williams says, go Hornets. Guys, they ain't lying. All of McGoffin County has showed up in this building. Coach, this atmosphere is electric. Are you ready for this one? A turn up, Daryl McCoy, because it's about to be one of – it's going to be a happening, as we say. Turn up, turn out. Yes. Guys, we had over 12,000 people watch, nearly 13,000 last game. Coach, it got up to 1,300 people watching live at one time. Can you guys beat that? Thomas says you can't. Guys, this matchup, Coach O, you got 
freshman sensation, Austin Sloan, dropped 38 the other night. The only player that outdone McGoffin County's Aiden Barnett, who dropped 35. You got senior versus freshman. Be interesting to see who gets the best of this battle. Last uh, prior, the f last matchup that we watched that we called, Daryl, um, Aiden Barnett got the better of the matchup. Austin had his season low yep. in points. Uh, yeah, and but whenever they uh, did blow Johnson Central out down there, if I'm not mistaken, they held Barnett to six that night. They did. Yeah, that's yeah. right. So yeah. uh, even Steven. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so so you know they've done the same to yeah. Barnett. So it's very interesting to see which one of them. But both of them has great supporting cast in the Whitakers on one side, Braden Shepard, Kyle Rose on the other. Great coach teams, very well even out. Let's take a look at the starting lineups. Brought to you by Bruce Walters Ford. Wireless Arena, you're watching the Mountain's number one source for sporting news, the D&D Sports Network. Joe Kinzer, Kevin Keithley, Thomas Rainey, Daryl McCoy. Coach, keep an eye. The two X factors for McGolfin could be Walker Russell and Ethan Salyer. Well, absolutely, Ethan yep. Salyer. If he gets going from deep, watch out. We saw that in the play-in game. Oh, well, the final 12 in the open round of the regional tournament against Prestonsburg. Trey Trock says, who won the Pockville game? Martin County did, Trey. HR Blocks is going to be hard to uh, top the first game, so I hope this turns out to be a great game. So far, the region has delivered some great ones. And Cat Bird Isaac says, thank you to the sponsors, so I can sit at home and enjoy the best broadcast network going. All right, we're almost to 500. Now, Martin County had 700 or 1,200 watching at one time. Come on, yeah, Salyersville. Come on, Paintsville. Grayson Whitaker gets it over to Barnett. Barnett, guys has been playing varsity basketball for seven years, and this is his first trip to Pikeville. Yes, sir. Ethan Sayers walked over to get the ball. Aiden Barnett said, I got this one. <laughs> said, Watch out, young pup. There you go. Sayers That's leaves that short. one short, yeah. <coughs> you know, me. Coach, and, uh, you know, Kyle Rose, he gets overshadowed a lot because of that dynamic freshman duo of Shepard and Sloan. Don't make no mistake about it. Kyle Shepard is a, or Kyle Rose is a matchup problem down low. Well, his evolutions came the second half of the year. Yep. So, I mean, his improvement might be in consideration for most improved player of the year. I'm going to say this. The difference in the Floyd Central game the other night was Aiden Barnett. Not offense, but defense. Right. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, Good no, point. You, you, spot on. Aiden Barnett, best defensive game I think I've ever seen I him agree. play. I agree. Yeah, be impatient. Johnson Central looking down to Kyle Rose. Kyle Rose loses it. Montgomery, the dump down. Yeah, stolen away by Walker Russell. Here comes Barnett on the push. Kicks over to Whitaker. He can hit that. Got and it. He does. Coach, he is a three-ball sniper from that downtown. That is his 73rd trade of the season. Lethal. Yes, he is. No surprise there. Montgomery. 
Sings it. No, that makes. Uh, yeah, meets. I apologize. Yeah. There goes Barnett. Kicks it back out. Zane Whitaker, he'll hit that. Steps inside. Off the mark. Johnson Central definitely face guarding or shadowing Aiden Barnett. Not necessarily face guarding, but they're shadowing. Uh, take, trying to take him away. Guys, don't forget the D&D Sports Network fan cam sponsored by Matt Hager Law. Scoreboard sponsored by Pike County District Judge Robbie Wright. And we also comment section is sponsored by Southside Buildings and Carports. Meeks brings it back out. Johnson Central going to be patient here. That's a lot to ask of a young group. Barnett gets the tip. Got it. Coach, I can't say enough about how that young man has played. You know, it's almost like that. You know, yeah, you know, I, I give you a little sprinkle here and there all year long, but he has saved the best for the biggest yeah. stage. Meeks. Oh, are you kidding me? Zane Whitaker sent that packing, Coach. He, he looked at Meeks and said, no, don't bring it in here, young man. Woo. Box set for Johnson Central. Miranda Bradford says she's not for either team, but likes D&D &D and the maestro Thomas Rainey. <laughs> <laughs> Turnover. Yep, here comes Whitaker. Five early points. McGoffin jumps out on Johnson Central, seven to two. Those nerves, the young young players, you see it. They're tight, Daryl. Coach, and one thing that, you know, you got to be worried about, the other night, that was such an emotional uh, win for Johnson Central, upset and Pike Central. You know, uh, did, did you worry about this being a trap game? Sayers is talking a little bit to uh, Austin Sloan. Already three turnovers for Johnson Central. McGoffin County has four points off of them. Be careful. Don't wake the sleeping giant. Mm. Mark. Walker Russell. Oh. Yep. What are we going to get here? See what they call it. called Fallon Shepard. And this arena is so noisy, it's very difficult for the players to hear the whistle right. from the officials. You see Scott Castle right there, liking what he's seeing right now from his Hornets. A lot of people don't know the experience Scott Castle has here. This is not his first time, Coach. Right. He led the Thomas. girls. He led the girls to several di district and regional championships. Right. Oh, okay. Walker Russell, Sky. Walker Russell, battling. Walker Russell. A jump ball. Wow. Coach, I, I didn't see really clean possession to have a jump ball. I didn't see right. I didn't see the tie. Yeah. I think I think the reason it is is when the offensive player went up, the defender had the ball, his hands on the ball. I guess. Look at this. Yeah, right, Joe. Look at this, Daryl McCoy. Aiden Barnett matched up with the eighth grader. Sloan. Mm -hmm. Sayers doing a nice job on Sloan so far. Yeah. Out top. Now you got the you got the young Mason McKenzie in the game now, coach. That's what I just said. Aiden yeah. Barnett matched up with him. Off the mark. He can knock those down, Daryl. He can. Just an eighth grader. He is the coach's son. Good Barnett. And bait. Off the mark. Sayers. Reset the offense. They got Shepard. Now matched up with Art Barnett. Now Whitaker. Barnett is, I'm sorry, Darrell. Barnett's the most physical player in the 15th region. Right. He loves to draw contact. Can't get it to go. No, uh, you ain't lying about that. Barnett is super physical. Oh, got a quick foul on Barnett. He, he didn't even oh, touch no. him. Literally, he did not. He moved out of the way when he come by. Wow. The, I, I mean, that I, – guys, I, I, I sat there and watched it. He didn't even he, – he literally put yeah. his hands to the side right. and let him go by. Right. Wow. Media timeout. Yeah, we'll take a quick break. Be right back. Oh. Wow. I was like – He literally, like, he got down like he was defending. You know, I, I give you a little sprinkle here and there all year long, but he has saved the best for the biggest yeah. stage. Meeks. Oh, 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 oh.
Southside Buildings and Carports and Southside Shed Hunters of Louisa, Kentucky offer shed hauling services up to 16 by 52 long buildings. We also have lofted cabins, utility cabins, garages, man caves, she sheds that you can customize and order to your wants and needs with many different options such as workbenches, shelving, transom windows, and much more. You can go to the location or buy using 3D Builder's online order system. You can build right from your own home. We offer metal garages and carports that are built to any size and installed right on your property. For more info, call 304-928-0060 or 304-928-0062. Here at Southside Buildings and Carports, we've got you covered. If you're in the market for a new or pre-owned vehicle, come on down to Man Toyota in Prestonsburg, Kentucky. Right now, you can get 4.99% financing for 60 months on Camrys, Corollas, Tacomas, Tundras, RAV4s, Highlanders, and new 2024s. There we go. We got the fan cam. Matt Hager fan cam right there. You see Johnson Central throwing a toga party of their own. As we come back out of the timeout, guys, it's McGoffin County up 7-2 to two on Johnson Central. McGoffin County leaving a, lot on, leaving a lot on the board, Darrell McCoy, settling for jump shots. Yeah, that, they are. You know, and that's Johnson Central. You know, I mean, good job by them You know, right now, kind of baiting them into that. Yeah. But Johnson Central only shooting one of four from the floor. And they got three turnovers. That's kind of gets uh, slow going. Pull up by Montgomery. Sinks it. Man, did they need that. Dawson Montgomery has all five points. And he's their third leader in three-point field goals made on the team this season. The kick, Salyers, got it. Big right, bucket. Right back at you, Daryl McCoy. Yes, it is. Here comes Braden Shepard. Throws it away. Oh, oh, what happened there? Yeah. I, <laughs> did you see a deflection? Ball got yeah. poked. There's a turnover on Sloan. There goes Barnett. And Daryl, listen, we were at that McGolfin County game and one of the things that they did was they sped Austin Sloan up, and Sloan uncharacteristically had several turnovers in the first half. I agree. And they're it, doing the same thing tonight. Southside Building and Carport comment section, Cat Bird Isaac says she's tuning in. She says also the legend Irvin Stepp is tuning in. Wow. So the GOAT's usually here watching it with us. On the floor. McGoffin County. Outscoring Johnson Central points off turnover six nothing. Aiden Barnett has five, uh, has uh, four of those points. Yeah. Well, actually seven points off turnovers after the field goal or free throw five to the seven. Foul on the floor. Sloan looking to post. Yeah. Get him at that paint. That's where he's really good. Off the mark. Get, hang on to it, Walker Russell. And the thing about it is, is in Sloan is as good a score as there is in the region, but they got multiple guys with length and size to match up with Sloan. Well, you know, they're taking him, they're bringing guys over to meeting him in the paint, and yeah. that's where he gets most of his buckets. McKenzie has it out top, and Whitaker on him. They're trying to run that screen. Nice look. Rose kicks it out. McKenzie for three. He's off the mark. Off and running, Barnett. In and out. Yeah. McKenzie on the go, just an eighth grader. Kendy swings it over. Sloan, spin yeah. move. That's his strength right there. Yes, it is. Yeah. Kyle Rose, rebound. Austin Sloan is a big time scorer in the paint. Yeah. Meeks coming in for McKenzie. Jackson had the perfect view of that one. As you sitting here, guys, first quarter here sponsored by Johnny B's Pizza, best pizza in Sayersville, Kentucky. Darryl, McGolfin County, though, listen, they should be up 20 to 5. They've had some missed opportunities. Johnson Central only down eight. Yeah, they're blessed right now. They've, 
John Central just not able to capitalize so far on the misfortune of McGoffin. Salyer wide open. Can't get it to go. Yep. Walker Russell. Russell. What about Russell there on the court? He's, he's played amazing. He's had himself a tournament so far. And so far in this game, you can tell the physical difference. The seniors of Agoffa County much stronger than the freshmen tonight at Johnson Central. Nine seniors versus nine freshmen. Jenny Buck watching from the airplane terminal in Charlotte. William Gerald said win to JC, hold Barnett to six points earlier this year. Coach, what? Wasn't that what it was? I'm pretty sure. Uh, check, check it right. Uh, double check us, William. Facts are optional with us, but double check us in the game at McGolfin. Ten-point lead, McGolfin County. One minute to play in the first quarter. They're going to run this screen for Sloan. Got it blocked. Barnett. The hook pass. Darryl McCoy's favorite. <laughs> Off the mark. Back over. We're going to give him a second try at it. Whitaker. Nice look. Yep. Oh. Good dump down. Easy bucket for Russell. 12 point lead. 30 seconds to go. Mm -hmm. You're they, going to get a middle ball screen by Kyle Rose. They need a bucket right here. Jump shot. Oh. Got it blocked. Yep. Got a piece of it. And guys, you know, between quarters, McKenzie just has to calm his troops down. Right now, you can tell the freshman, the young group are, is the youngest team in the tournament, and right now their youth is showing. But Tommy McKenzie, he's a legend for a reason. I'm sure he'll get them settled down. McKenzie to inbound, Mason McKenzie. They're looking right over his shoulder as you see this play develop. Shepard. Shepard stepped through. Hook shot, no good. Sloan put back. Sloan said one way or the other. I'm going to the line. That's exactly right. That's good hustle by that young man hitting the glass. But I tell you, McGoffin County, they are up in the face every time Johnson Central puts up a shot up around the basket, being very, very physical. We watched that against Prestonsburg. In the opening round of the regional tournament, they were very physical. Got substitutions from McGolfin County. Walker Russell checking back in. Aiden Barnett checking back in. And the way McGolfin County's coming out there saying, hey, this was not going to go to overtime tonight, the way they're playing here in the first quarter. Gets on both. Austin Sloan mm -hmm. now has two points. Ten point lead. Back, they'll kick it over. Shot. Got it. Whitaker coming off the screen, and he's got his community fired up as they end the first quarter with a 27 lead over the Johnson Central Golden Eagles. We'll be right back. Back, they'll kick it over. Shot. Got it. Whitaker coming off the screen, and he's Looking for a new pharmacy? Howard Family Pharmacy offers fast and friendly service and convenient drive throughs at both locations. Eastern Kentucky understands the importance of taking care of one another. That's why after graduation, I came home. 25 years later, I've put together a team at Glenmar and Hammond Law Offices dedicated to fighting for your legal rights. When you're dealing with a sensitive legal issue, you want someone who will take care of you as a person, not just another case. Our team will help you through the legal process of social security, personal injury, work injury, car wrecks, wrongful death, medical malpractice, and nursing home neglect. Call us today. All right, here we go. We are back to start the second quarter. Second quarter, guys, is sponsored by Clayton Tackett and the folks at Love Homes. As we start this second quarter here, Appalachian Wireless Arena, McGolfin County up 20 to seven on Johnson Central. Kevin Keithley, Thomas Rainey, Daryl McCoy, and Joe Kinzer on the call. 
Johnson Central, 18% shooting from the floor in the first quarter. McGoffin County's outscored JC, 7 0 points off turnovers. Dribble handoff action. Can he get another one? Off the mark. Big rebound by Montgomery. Mm -hmm. Shepard. Shepard gets it blocked. Yeah. Got blocked by Whitaker. Wrap around. Barnett. Kick. Salyers. Got. Oh. In and out. That even tickled the threads. Wow. Shepard on the go. Yeah. Montgomery. He's off the mark. Walker Russell kicks out to Whitaker. Here comes Whitaker. Whitaker over to Russell. He's off the mark. Zane Whitaker with the rebound. Yeah, wise decision by McGolfin. They got it. They started hurrying a little bit. They're going to pull it back out, Thomas Rainey. You see, great play by the senior point guard. Fade away. Walker Russell back to Barnett. Barnett drives baseline. Got it. Easy bucket. Good player control. He used his body really well there yep. to avoid the charge. That's that Hayes training system at work right there. <laughs> Absolutely. Corey Hayes had a lot to do with that. Sloan turns it over. Turn back. Salyers hits the trailer. Watch out. Time out. Tommy McKenzie. He said we need to talk about it, Daryl McCoy. Barnett says let's go. Full timeout. They'll take one. We will too. Absolutely. Corey Hayes had a lot to do with that. Sloan turns it over. Turn back. Salyers hits the trailer. Watch out. I'm Dr. Alan Baldwin here at Maynard Chiropractic. Maynard Chiropractic has two locations at East Point on US 23 and in Paintsville and Rock City Plaza. So give us a call here at Maynard Chiropractic at 606-886-3737 and schedule your appointment with Better Health today. I'm attorney Ray Jones. Some law firm ads make it sound like getting injured is like winning the lottery, but that couldn't be further from the truth. Being injured is a nightmare. It's not about winning free money. It's about getting your life back and restitution for what's been taken from you. We will handle your case personally from start to finish with a commitment to get you every penny you're owed. When you're injured, it's about surviving and getting back what's been taken from you. Get every penny you're owed. Call me anytime for all right, there's a legend, Daryl McCoy. Who is that? That's J.R. Van Hoos on the coaching staff of Johnson Central. J.R. Van Hoos ended up playing at Marshall, won a couple 15th region titles. He knows something about state tournaments too, don't he? He does. He does a little. I got to tell his recruiting story at halftime. Okay, all right. If you let me. William and Donna, uh, Donald Gerald says, uh, Barnett had 32, 36, and uh, 48. There it Sloan. is. Sloan. So we stand corrected. They ran that set per to perfection for Sloan. He now has five points. 14-point lead in McGolfin County. They're, they're, they're trying to bait Sayers in to shoot the three ball. Kevin Wood said, you better get this JC team now. But they're going to be good the next few years. Sayers coming out with it. Salmons back out to Sayers. Got it. Swings it. <laughs> On fire right now. 17 point lead. They're going to run this set action for Austin Sloan. They're going to go to the same thing here. There it is. McGolfin County did a good job that time. Shepard. Yep. Nice bucket there by Braden Shepard. He's also a freshman. Averaging 17 points a game. Yeah. There's that slick floor. Salyers. He's going to get another one. Booyah! And he's high stepping his way down the floor. Looking like Deion Sanders. Talking a little smack too, Coach. Oh, he talks it. But he walks it as well. Yes, he does. Bud Montgomery watching from Cave Run. Oh! <laughs> Zane Whitaker out there hurting feelings, coach. Absolutely. McGoffin County not giving an inch on both ends of the court here tonight. Again, another block off of Johnson's central layup. Sloan spin. Hook. Can't get oh, it to go. Yeah. 
Barnett didn't go for the foul. You saw that. Barnett. Oh. Yeah. Kick us off. He already has one. He didn't contest that right. down there. Smart move. That's a senior by Aiden Barnett. Don't want to get two. And guys, listen. You know, Johnson Central, they have been down huge in multiple games this year. Right. They are the comeback Eagles. Do not count them out uh, exactly. by any means. He's got two big time scorers in Sloan and Shepard. Yep. Another block. Yep. Y'all stick with it. Nice job. Right there, Austin Sloan, you know, he's got blocked twice, but he's stuck with his game plan, Coach. Hey, that's his game, getting around the rim. That's it. You see that, Barnett said, give me the ball. He called for it. There you go, Barnett getting downhill. And shoot two. We've seen Barnett do that a couple times uh, this tournament, Thomas. Just says, give me the ball. This is my time. Aiden Barnett shoots over 80% from the free throw line. Three thousand plus career points, like you guys said the other night. He's played varsity basketball since seventh grade. Barnett with ten points. Tell you what, Barnett, coach, you know. Probably the best pure athlete in the 15th region. I agree. Guys, we're going to take a quick break as they take a media timeout. We'll be right back on the D&D Sports Network. If you've recently had a loved one pass, bring them to Hall & Jones Funeral Home in Virgie, Kentucky. We let you grieve in peace instead of worrying about a heavy financial burden of burying a loved one. Here at Hall & Jones, we have multiple chapels that can accommodate any size family. We look forward to helping you and your family here at Hall & Jones. I'm Bruce Walters with Bruce Walters Kia in Pikeville, Kentucky. We have the area's largest selection of new Kias and more arriving daily. Come shop us in Pikeville. I guarantee you, you'll find the Kia for you. At Bruce Walters Kia, your new Kia comes with a 10-year, 100,000-mile warranty. Also at Bruce Walters Kia, you'll get free oil changes for life. Finding your new key is easy. Come shop us in Pikeville or shop us online at BruceWaltersKia.com. If you want to make your dream home come true, call Solid Rock Development today. Check out some of these interior and exterior jobs they've done over the past few years. Solid Rock Development is making custom dream homes come true at a great price. Family owned, family operated, and faith backed. Give us a call today at Solid Rock Development. To tell you, all right, we're back here, ready to go, Thomas Rainey. Out of this timeout, media timeout, McGolfin 32, Johnson Central 14, 18 point lead, and man, oh man. But golfing has controlled both sides of the floor so far. Who's your X Factor so far, Coach? Well, listen, X Factor, I'm, I, that's tough, but I like what Sayer's doing. Uh, I, I like Sayer, but I'm going to go with Zane Whitaker in the middle. Block he has shot. blocked everything inside. I've got him with four blocks. That's what I'm saying. I think so far he's been the X Factor. Johnson Central only has three field goals made on two-point field goal attempts. Everything else, free throws. Guys, again, second quarter sponsored by Zach Sloan at Sloan Chiropractic. Right now you can get CD, CDL physicals and more at Sloan Chiropractic in Sayersville. This, there's Sayer again. Left that one short. On the go, Meeks. He's looking for Sloan. That was a heat check, wasn't it, Coach? Yes, it was. He's hit everything else he threw up. Everything runs through Sloan. Turnover. Nice dish. A tasty dish. Yes, it was. Big bucket by Walker Russell. McGolfin back up 20 here. Largest lead of the game. We got Kyle Rose. He's going to set middle, middle of the floor screens. You're going to, or a dribble handoff action for Sloan. The Thanks. same as that set, Daryl. There it is. Yep. 
And credit McGoffin County, though, nice handle. Sloan with the step back off the mark. Going the other way. Offensive foul. You know, Scott Castle definitely is given Braden Shepard a respect as he puts one of his best defenders in Walker Russell on him. And right now, Shepard isn't getting anything easy. He's working to even touch the ball. Shepard with two points. Yeah. Johnson Central shooting 25% from the floor in the first half. They've committed 10 turnovers. The Hornets, they've outscored JC 11-2 points off turnovers. Well, that's the difference. You're talking about 10 turnovers and you're not played two quarters yet. Marshall Atkins watching from Youngstown, Ohio, says go McGolfin. The swing. Never. Thought about it. Pull up. Sloan with his second rebound. Sloan pulling. He's off the mark. You don't like that shot, Bill McCoy. No, I don't like the shot at all. I don't like transition threes. <laughs> Not at all. You know, and, uh, but, you know, in a situation like this, down 20, you're trying to get anything to get you going here. So, I mean, I can't really argue with him on that one. Every time the Eagles try to put one up around the basket, it's being swatted away or heavily contested. Yes. Absolutely. Zane Whitaker having a field day down low. Can't get it to go. Yep. Whitaker grabs the rebound. Boy. Nice look. Yep. There's Grayson Whitaker. Puts him up 36-14. Shepard. McKenzie, Shepard spinning into the lane. Oh, another. Oh. Don't call the foul. <laughs> Barnett was about ready to throw one down. <laughs> he had got a free look. You'll see him break out like that all the time. I know it's early, but if things don't go the other way, we may be seeing running clock in the third quarter. It's It's – Trajecting that way. Ophie Marshall says her granddaughter's watching, said Kennedy Bailey, her cheer, cheerleader here, granddaughter's a cheerleader. Cuts it back to 20. You've got two, two high-level scorers in Shepard and Sloan on the floor. Never out of the game. you got two players like that. 123 to go here in this first half. Whitaker. Nice backdoor cut. Watch out. Barnett. I thought he was going to throw it down there. Uh -huh. I did too. <laughs> McKenzie. Yeah. Off the Shepherd. Timeout, Johnson Central. Timeout on the floor. They see, is that a 30 or a four? 30 second timeout. And we'll stay here during this one, guys. Let's check out the replay real quick, Daryl. Uh -huh. There's like that. 123 to go here in this first half. Whitaker. Nice backdoor Watch cut. Out. Barnett. All right, you saw a nice back cut there by Barnett with the easy lay-in to all, make it 38-16. You also see an electric fan base down here in McGoffin County. So as we're sitting here, guys, right now, you're looking 38-16 McGoffin all over Johnson Central here. Under a minute to go in the first half. Johnson, excuse me, McGoffin County playing big boy basketball defense around the basket tonight. There we go. We run that action a lot. Try to get Sloan open in the middle of the floor. Sloan can't get it to go. Oh. Gonna stay, gonna go McGoffin County's way. They're going to get a last shot at it. I can't imagine them. I'm going to tell you what, when he throws it. Oh, I've got people from McGolfin texting. Little history, McGolfin has not been to the regional final since 1996. Long time. Just and a couple years, Darrell McCoy. We played them in 1998 in the first round. We beat them for Belfry. They had a big guy that was about 6'7", six, 6'9". Six, that could flat out stroke it from outside. I cannot remember his name. Again, I don't understand the mindset with 17 seconds. You don't want Johnson Central going in 
on with a any, bucket. With any momentum. Any momentum at all. You want to crush their spirits if you're McAuliffe County. No. If you're here, draw up a good play, Coach. I'd like to see Braden Shepard get more involved. Maybe work to get him. Sloan going to the line. Coach, I'm telling you, you know, right now, they're playing right into their hands. You know, you've got to have more people get involved offensively than Austin Sloan. Darrell, we've watched it all year. Every set and action is ran through Sloan. Yeah, I, I mean, uh, but that's tough when you got a defensive-minded coach like Scott Castle that's going to take and box everything in and try to stop him. You know, I, I'm, I'm taking maybe, you know, let Braden Shepard give him the ball out top, let him try to work a little bit, see if that would take some of the pressure off from Sloan if Shepard can get going. As a heave. Oh! And we will end the first half, 38-17, Salyersville, get up. We'll be right back for the Convenient Drug Halftime Show. If you're looking for a small town pharmacy that will treat you like family from the second you walk in the door, come see us at Convenient Drug. Convenient Drug in Salyersville, Kentucky, open Monday through Friday, 9 to 5. We look forward to seeing you. I'm Ashley Tackett Lafferty, and for the last four years, I've worked hard to deliver millions of dollars in funding for Floyd and Pike counties. I've fought hard as your representative to bring good jobs back to our prison and wheelwright, to finally complete the 680 connector between Minnie and Harold, and to four-lane the Mountain Parkway through Prestonsburg. My voting record in Frankfurt proves that you can count on me to defend our traditional mountain values and protect our working families in Eastern Kentucky. I care about the future of our families and I'll never quit on Eastern Kentucky. Re-elect Ashley Tackett Lafferty. She fights for us. back here as you see listen we got our own dance competition up here coach uh, i don't know who the man was but i'm telling you he's a big whitney houston fan awesome. look at him he's ready to go i love it he's trying to get our cameraman Jaden up thomas <laughs> i was ready to break out the spin <laughs> <laughs> yes sir look at him the, uh, that's what you love there it is. <laughs> <A child. laughs> A lot of fun here at the Expo Center. <laughs> so here, guys, the halftime. You're watching the Convenient Drug Halftime Convenient Show. By the way, guys, this is Johnson Central's dance team. They do an amazing job. We would love to cover them, but they're facing the other way. Hopefully we can get them if they advance. But right now, Listen, we've had numerous messages said during the convenient drug halftime show, can you cover McGolfin's dance team? Well, here they come, Coach. Here they come. And why are we making, before we get people upset, why are we covering McGolfin and not Johnson Central? They're facing yeah, us. Yeah, we can only do it, guys, the ones that face us. So, uh, if you face away. Yeah, we got McGolfin the other, or Johnson the other night. Listen to that response from the crowd. 
Let's see what we got, Coach. All right, Darrell, you and Kevin with the commentary. <laughs> a little play-by-play. -play. <laughs> Sound check. Yeah. We're ready to roll. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. What an anticipation the build. Coach, are starting from the ground up. Up there. Oh. Oh, it's the mime, Daryl McCoy in the middle. Yeah. A little mime action. Oh, I love it. Got a spin oh, oh, oh. oh, Not only that, as you done a front flip, Coach. With the spin a Yeah. Yeah. Let's see here. Uh-oh. 720 into a 360. A little air guitar action. There we go. Turning it up. Locked in. Oh. oh, high leg kick. Yes. How about the the vertical on that leg kick? There. There we go. Like what we're seeing from him. Yeah, a little push to the side. Coach, good space. And oh. Oh, 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 Coach. Are you kidding me? Look at the roundhouses. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, a roundhouse into a pure <laughs> leg, Coach. You like never that. see that. Unbelievable. Oh. See how they finish here. Nice little swan dive. Oh, oh. no! Coach! They hit it. She did. Flawless. Wow. It's, it's been perfect, Coach. It no was unbelievable. way. No way. We just seen that. All right, Got spacing. It. Like the spacing there. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Gave, gave a little action to the backside. Looky here, an assisted. Oh, an assisted split, Coach. Only the second team to do that. No, nobody does that. Assisted split. Unbelievable. Listen, it's been 1986 was the last time that we seen that somersault, Coach, into the spin of Rooney yeah. in, the, in the 86 Olympics. Yes, absolutely. The combination blew me away. Wow. That's got to be a 10. They were, in, they were in sequence, guys. They were in sequence. I, I tell you what they just done. They just sent a message, delivered a message to the Dance Cats. They did. Ooh. They sent a message yeah. to Prestonsburg. They <laughs> laid down the challenge, and we're laying down the challenge. Yes. <laughs> Dance teams, and we reach gotta, out. We want to have the best of the best. And we got a Martin County cheerleader that's going for the half-court shots. Let's see it here. And it was online. Uh, Off the mark. Now, here's Jaleel Warren. If anybody can hit it, this young lady can. We got a ringer. Jaleel Warren, half-court shot. Oh! oh. Off the oh. mark. All right, guys, convenient drug halftime show here. Guys, want to thank the, uh, everybody for tuning in on the uh, Southside Building to Carport comment section. Stephen Calhoun says the dance commentary has been the best. Janice Roden says D&D &D announced anything. You guys are awesome. Uh, we see turn up uh, said uh, turn in seconds on point. Uh, I agree. Yep. The turns, what they were talking about. That's it. Great, great job. Uh, girls, uh, Tracy Halderly says love our Emma Thacker. She's a McGoffin County senior dancer. Absolutely. Also says, who won between Martin and McGoffin during the regular season, guys? That was, who, who did win the Martin McGoffin? Did they split Martin, them? No, I think Martin. I'll, I'll get the facts. Yeah, Thomas, uh, do that. As Catbird Isaac says, was uh, that, uh, so was that the year Danny Atkins coached? Yep. And yep. James Howard was the guy's name. The big, the big kid. He went on to play uh, college ball at oh, Milligan. Oh, was it? Yep. I'm glad you said that because See? I have been looking forever to figure out that guy's name. And I, I'm not kidding. We played them in 98 over at Elkhorn City at the region title when Van Hoos, we beat them in the first round and then went on J.R. Van Hoos, Todd Tackett beat us out in the finals. Yeah. Danny Adams, not Atkins, right? Adams, Danny yeah. Adams. Yeah. Danny Adams, yeah. yeah. Let's go over some stats. Yep. All right, so very quickly for Johnson Central, 5 of 23, shooting from the floor, 22%, 2 of 8 from downtown. Uh, McGoffin County, they are shooting 10 of 27, 37%, 5 of 17 from behind the three-point line. So 17 of their 27 field goal attempts have came from behind the arc. 
rebounding. That's in favor of McGoffin County, 15 to 10. Points off turnovers, it's huge. 11 to two advantage for McGoffin County and the turnovers in the first half. You have two for the Hornets and 10 for Johnson Central. There you go, we got good Tom. All right, At, on January 30th on D&D Sports, McGoffin played Martin at McGoffin and lost 76-72. Then they came back a week later and played at Martin County. Martin County won 78-73. Then they played in the championship game of the 57th district and it was 83-73 at Martin County. So wow. Martin County's three and old, but all three have been 10 or less. That's very impressive, and you might see a four-peat in that game if McGoffin can move on and meet Martin in the finals if John Central don't upset them. Can I? Do you all need to go just, to break? Or just can second. I, or can just I, okay. second. Just okay. second. Okay. Okay. We've we got it coming. The, right. uh, as we see, Mike Connolly says, you guys have killed it. Said you, cut, you had your uh, call in there. And Chad Hensley says, so what's this J.R. Van Hoos story, Joe? <laughs> all right, so here's the J.R. Van Hoos story. So here's the recruiting trail. I was talking to him. I interviewed him a few years ago, and he said, Joe, I always wanted to go to Kentucky, but they never was interested in me. He said, so uh, he goes, um, Bobby Knight came to his house. He was excited, Indiana, the general, coming to his house. He said, Joe, he said, Bobby Knight talked to my dad the whole night and didn't even hardly pay attention to me. So he's like, well, you know, if he's going to pay attention. You know, my dad's not going to play for him. I wanted to, so no. that was out. No. West, West Virginia coach Gail Catlett came calling. He goes, Joe. I was very interested in going to WVU. He goes, Gail Catlett's in my house. I go into the living room. I take a look at him and how he's dressed. He wore Snoopy socks and Snoopy yep. tie. And he goes, that eliminated West Virginia on the recruitment trail. So he went ahead and went on to Marshall. Yeah, that, that right there, I heard you <laughs> tell me that uh, before. Uh, that story right there, I'm glad you towed it on air. Snoopy Sox knocked him out of going to the Big Brother, yes. so he went to Little Brother Marshall. Yes. What? And the rest is history for J.R. Vanos. So, guys, real quick, want to thank our sponsors that makes tonight's games possible here during the Convenient Drug Halftime Show. That's State Representative Ashley Tackett Lafferty, Crum Funeral Home, City of Co Run, Pike County Sheriff Rodney Scott, Hot Rods Pizza, Matt Hager Law, Hilton Homes of Ival, Southern Prep, Pike County Attorney Paul Howard Jr., Jeremy Pinson, and the folks at Punks Tires, Clayton Tackett and Love Homes, Holland Jones Funeral Home, Robbie Wright, Sayersville Funeral Home, Tommy Maynard Auto Sales, Mexican Restaurant in Inez, Smoking Hot Vape Shop, Man Toyota, Man. What a deal. Howard Family Pharmacy, Corey Conley at Convenient Drug, and Conley Brothers Giovanni's, J.I. Fab, Southside Buildings and Carports, Glenn Martin Hammond, Attorney at Law. If you're in it for the win, call Glenn. 606 Hemp, Corey Hayes at Hayes Training System, Pike County Jailer Brian Morris, Dr. Alan Baldwin at Maynard Chiropractic, Kirk Law Firm, Custom Print and Design, Rock Fork Regular Baptist Church, Solid Rock Development, personal injury lawyer, Ray Jones, and Sloan Chiropractic. Last but not least, our good friend Johnny B at Johnny B's Pizza, Coach. Johnny B's Pizza brought us pizza at every McGoffin County game we did. Best pizza bar none in Sayersville, Kentucky. They were the real MVP because Daryl McCoy and myself hadn't eaten. Yeah. And we were starving. Yep. Came up big. He did. Johnny B delivered himself. So, guys, I suggest if you're watching these games, go to Johnny B's Pizza. Big news out of the 14th. The ladies have crowned a champion. Oh. The Owsley County Owls. Owsley 51, County. 51 46 over Estill. Congratulations to the Owsley County Owls. And Owsley beat Estill on their home floor. Yep. Uh, wow. Exactly. And congratulations out of the 60th district. 60, 16th region, I'm yep. sorry. Russell defeats Boyd. Wow. 50 to 38. Wow. Now, is that the championship game? I'm thinking it is. It is. Shaylen Steele will represent Mandy Lane. Shaylen Steele will be back at Rupp Arena. They come up short last time. Shaylen Steele, guys, 
you're going to have the two Miss basketball candidates from our area with Shailen Steele, Trinity Row, both at Rupp Arena. On the girls' side, March 13th, Bowling Green takes on Owsley County, and McCracken County will take on Russell. Then on the 14th, Bethlehem versus Pikeville. If I'm Owsley County, I want anybody but Bowling Green. Yep. Bowling Green, their talent, their quickness and speed, that's going to be a tall order for Owsley. Bethlehem's a tough task, too, for Pikeville, yeah. so it be interesting there. Guys, convenient drug halftime show here as uh, we see Katie Brown says Catbird Isaac, they're two great teams playing. They say uh, Oak Waversaw says Stinky D&D &D is the best. Hillary Branham says I'll be there in three weeks, excited. And said how many blocks does Zane Whitaker have Gee, right now? I stopped counting at four. <laughs> so, so guys, that's going to end the convenient drug halftime show. This third quarter action is sponsored by Brian Parker and the friends at Sayersville Funeral Home. If you're looking, or if you're burying a loved one and you don't want to break the bank, call Brian Parker. I promise nobody does funerals like Brian Parker. You know, it, Thomas, it looks like they're going to go to the same set for Austin Sloan uh, with Kyle Rose in the middle of the floor. Earlier this year, we, we, the coaches at McGolfin reached out, wanted us to cover them. Needed a sponsor, Sayersville Funeral Home stepped up and we brought out every home game to you live. That don't happen, Thomas, without Brian Parker and nope. Sayersville Funeral Home. Nice set ran for Austin Sloan. And Johnny B's Pizza and Corey Conley at Convenient Drug. Absolutely. There you Barnett go. Pulling yeah. it back out. Got nice. a wide open look underneath. Russell. Nice Give take. him two more. Pushes that lead to 23. Oh. Well, they're trying. They're trying to get Sloan going. Shepard to get going. Sinks it. Coach, that's what I said in the first half. Get him some looks. He's an elite scorer as well. He is. He had 41 against Belfry. Right. Cuts it back to 20. There's Whitaker says right back at you. Can't convert, though. Nice rebound by Kyle Rose. Yeah. Sloan on the go. Now, McGoffin's got to come out with some fire. That's they it. Can't get it to go. But Kyle Rose is there. If you're a McGoffin fan, you can't let off the gas. You could not. You, you know, right now, McGoffin, they was up so big, Coach, you wonder, is it going to be hard for them to get back up? It's tough, especially high school kids. Huh? Going to stay McGoffin County ball. Even college kids, pro guys, when you got a big lead, it's tough to keep that intensity. Well, you think I can turn it on at any time. Right. I Will can just kick it back down. Well, McGoffin's only 5 of 18 for behind the three-point line tonight. No. Well, they're not a great three-point shooting team overall. No, opportunistic. How yeah. about that? Yes. Yeah. Whitaker and Salyers is definitely the two best three-point shooters. The swing, the Barnett. Barnett, you're not going to stop him. Uh, oh. shoot two. Yep. <laughs> uh, fan said what? <laughs> said uh, fans didn't like that one. That's a 15th region player of the year call. Right. That's what that is. Barnett going to shoot two, shooting 82% on the year. Barnett has 14 points. What would that be like the Jordan rule, Coach? Yes. <laughs> the higher your stock as a player, you do get the benefit of those calls. Back tip out to Sloan. Off to Shepard. Shepard going to shoot two. Braden Shepard, also a freshman, averaging 17 points a game. Well, for Johnson Central, you know, there's no such thing as a 19-point shot. So you got to whittle this thing down to about 10 by the end of the third quarter. Let's keep working it. Janet Pack watching from Lewis County, Kentucky, says fire brick in the house. Thank you guys for keeping us up on Mountain Athletes. 
And Tiffany Bevin says, my best friend and her brother went to Sayersville. Only reason I'm a Sa Montgolfin County fan. Thank you, guys. There comes Barnett. Getting some pressure. Whitaker. Back out to Barnett. Barnett, nice cut, Joe. Yes, unbelievable. Yeah. There. Great. He's too strong. Really good footwork in the lane. That was a high level move there by Barnett. 19 point lead, 43 24. Looks like they're going to try to get Shepard, free him up. Shepard, Shepard. Everybody always compares Barnett or call him the LeBron James of the 15th region. You know, I, I'll tell you somebody else that his game reminds me of is James Harden. Yes. And never get sped up. No. And they kick it out. Oh, nice pass. pass. The swing. The three. Off the mark. Again, that back tip is killing Montgomery. the Dolphin. Oh. Count it. Man, Montgomery with the tough. and one opportunity. That was tough. Dawson Montgomery played really well in this tournament, Coach. He has, and right now he has seven points. Timeout, McGolfin County. That's a 30, so we'll stay here during this one. Lane Hughes says, good job on the broadcast. Watch him from Moorhead. I'm sure Lane Hughes probably had the 16th region games. Is that right, Lane? Uh, also, speaking of Moorhead, they're up 57-44 over Arkansas Little Rock with 6.49 left in the OVC let, championship. Let me tell you right now, Thomas, that Moorhead team can shoot the rock. Who won Kentucky, Tennessee? Kentucky. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Go Cats. I, you just feel like this game is slipping a little bit if you're a Mike Alpha game. I, I agree with you. The energy and focus not there. It's like they're playing – at about 75% right now. Yep. Yeah, 26 states tuning in. Miguel Rivas watching from Phoenix, Arizona. Joe Kinzer, what, what do you see going on right now? Well, I mean, McGoffin County has settled for that three-point shot all night long. Johnson Central just couldn't score because McGoffin County was just so aggressive around you, the did basket. Did you see that? Saw yeah. that. He yeah. shot it one-handed. Yes. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> he shot a one-handed wow. free throw. Yeah. So Johnson Central, they have scored on their last four field goal attempts. Going over top. Got it to go, Walker Russell. Big play by Walker Russell. On the go here, Meeks. The Dolphin County, you're right. That, that You can just fill it on the defensive end as well. It's not, not that same energy yeah. they started the game with. Not fighting as hard through screens. Standing up on defense. Slow. Yeah. Nice take. Got it. Russell should have went up with it the first time. Yeah, good defense. Whitaker over to Sayers, kicks it over to Russell. Ooh, dump down to Barnett. Barnett should have went up with that one. Here you go. Here comes Sloan. Nice take. You know, Coach Don't Keithley, we said the other night that the officials need to be really easy on the traveling call because of how slick this floor is. Yes. Well, I've seen them multiple times tonight let it go. So I agree. I, I think they may have talked it over and been like, well, you know, listen, we can't be so tight on that. Johnson Central has scored on their last seven possessions. Just a different focus on the defensive end by McGolfin County. They've let their foot off the gas. And that's what the maestro said at halftime. They can't keep their – they got to put their foot on the gas, not release it. Joe, do you know this? Tiffany Bevan says, hey, what's the radio station to tune in and listen to Moorhead State games? Uh, said now, so for UK games, it's 98.1. I have no clue. I have no clue, I'll be honest. Mm. Nice take off the mark. Sloan has struggled for the line tonight, but again, credit McGolfin County, that physicality and, that, and putting different defenders on him. Danielle Smith says, d, d you guys are great. Thank you for all you do broadcasting games. 
it's a media timeout. They called that foul on McGoffin. Oh, I think. Wow. wow. We'll take a quick break, then we'll come right back and join them here on the D&D Sports Network. Jay or Here we're back. There you we're see back. Tommy McKenzie there standing in front of the fierce fan section. Chris Stapleton playing in the background trying to get Johnson Central pumped on the Matt Hager fan cam here, guys. The he was a fullback. You guys, it, is this fair to That's play Chris Stapleton? Say. Sam playing <laughs> Chris Stapleton. <laughs> that it can't be fair, Maestro. The most famous Johnson Central alum. That's it. Wow. Uh, yeah, it just gets me back. pumped up. Love it. So as we went to break, they called the foul on McGoffin as they were trying to rip the ball loose. As yeah, you hit it on the head there. Stapleton still rocking over here. Now, Shepard gets it in the rows. Big, big couple, big four minutes right here. Yep. Shepard sinks it. Braden Shepard coming out of the timeout. We got a 10 point ball game, folks. There goes Barnett. Got it. Yeah, good job there. It's, it's a 19 8 run. Under three to play here in the third period. Meeks has it out top. John Central needs an answer here. Sloan gets it back out to Shepard. Shepard coming off the screen. Sloan sinks it. Austin Sloan with another three-point basket here. Coach has cuts it to nine. Cuts it to nine, and Shepard led by Shepard and Sloan back-to-back -back threes. Barnett's going to take one of his own. Russell battling. There's Whitaker. Sinks it! 30 second timeout. There's a 30 second timeout, and you see this crowd loud and proud here. On the Matt Hager fan cam. Yep. I mean, uh, listen, McGolford County sneakily is up there, coach, with Pikeville, Pike Central, Floyd Central, as far as the best fan sections in the region. I agree with that. We've seen that time and time again this year. Yeah, I mean, uh, listen, you go to Salyersville, they showed up every single time we come to town. Johnson Central shooting 73% from the field in the third quarter to get back into it. That was a big offensive rebound, kicking it back out for the three and the lead back up in double digits. You see the McGough County cheerleaders there. Guys, third quarter sponsored by Brian Parker and Sagersville Funeral Home. Right now, 51-39. McGoffin on top of Johnson Central here with 2.14 to go. Kevin Keithley, Thomas Rainey, Daryl McCoy, and Joe Kinzer. And coach, they're still rocking the Chris Stapleton. You think that's the magic? Right. Off the slow. Yeah. High ball screen. Shepard in trouble. Here comes that ball screen, middle of the floor. Yeah, Sloan gets it back out. <laughs> Sinks it! Mason McKenzie 
the eighth grader coming up big. Lead down to nine. There. Oh my. They got the turnover. Sloan. Got it. <laughs> Johnson Central has made 10 out of their last 11 field goals. Seven point lead, McGolfin. There's Barnett. Got it. Coach, that's where you'd like to see Kyle Rose meet him at the rim there. Exactly, meet him at the summit. Yeah. Sloan. There's a little pick and row action. Rose back out to Sloan. Nice take. And he's blocked by Whitaker. You see Austin Sloan upset with himself. You got to give these underclassmen for Johnson Central credit. They were down 40 to 17. I was like, well, we're a couple of runs away from running clock, but guess what? They're getting ready to cut this bad baby back down to single digits if you make two free throws here. Sloan knocks it down. Coach, I guarantee you, if Johnson it's an Central. It's game right now. It is. If Johnson Central comes back and takes this lead, I guarantee you there'll never be another Chris Davidson CD sold in Tigersville. No, right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, McGolfin County just seems like they're going through the motions, Thomas. There's Sloan hits the second free throw. <laughs> it's tough to turn it on and turn it back off and turn it back on. Barnett, guarded by Shepard. Back over. Nice take. Oh, blocked. Coach, we just said it. Like to see Kyle Rose meeting him in the paint. <laughs> Barnett didn't take too kindly to Kyle Rose. Terry Spencer says, guys, I have cancer. I appreciate you guys covering these games so I can watch them. Barnett just bullying his way through, but missed the layup. Here comes Shepard. Ooh. Back over. Meeks to Sloan. Sloan to take it. Off the mark. Rebound ripped down by Grayson Whitaker. Now, Hope for the last shot here if you're McGolfin. Hmm. Lost handles on it. Sayers out top. Swings it back over. Cross court, Salmons run off the three point line. Good defense. Smothering defense to end the third quarter. Johnson Central. Trails McGolfin 53 to 46 headed into the fourth quarter. We'll be right back on the DD Sports Network. Eastern Kentucky understands the importance of taking care of one another. That's why after graduation, I came home. 25 years later, I've put together a team at Glen Martin Hammond Law Offices dedicated to fighting for your legal rights. When you're dealing with a sensitive legal issue, you want someone who will take care of you as a person, not just another case. Our team will help you through the legal process of social security, personal injury, work injury, car wrecks, wrongful death, medical malpractice, and nursing home neglect. Call us today. If you're looking for a small town pharmacy that will treat you like family from the second you walk in the door, come see us at Convenient Drug. Convenient Drug in Sagersville, Kentucky, open Monday through Friday, 9 to 5. We look forward to seeing you. Here we are back. Yes, we as are. We get ready to start the fourth and final quarter. <laughs> Appalachian Wireless Arena is rocking. Sagersville's on their feet. As we head into this fourth quarter, guys, here sponsored by our good friends at Convenient Drug, Corey Conley and Convenient Drug, Thomas Rainey, Kevin Keesley, Daryl McCoy on the call, Joe Kinzer on the stats. Shots essential. So, got it. Got the row. Shots essential, 71% shooting in the third quarter to get back into it. Give Grayson Whitaker 16 on the night. Ooh. Grayson Whitaker, timely shot there, needed that one. Back out, Sloan. 
A screen out top. Oh, nice take. Austin Sloan with the layup. They, they know who to get the ball to. They, they don't listen. You think Sloan just forgot this, how to score the ball in the first half? No. I mean, the young man knows how to score. They're staying with him, staying with him. It's paying off. Full time out. Let's jump out. We'll be right back on the D&D Sports Network. When it comes to burying a loved one, you need to make sure that they're left in the right hands. That's why you need to call Crumb Funeral Home. Located in Inez, Kentucky. You can give them a call today at 606 298 0602 located on 498 Kentucky Route 3 North in Inez, Kentucky. Give them a call today. Crumb Funeral Home. With tax season coming up, make the smart decision with your money. Stop at Tommy's Auto Sales in Inez, Kentucky. Right now you can get cars, trucks, and SUVs at the best prices around. Tommy's Auto Sale is a proud supporter of the Martin County Cardinals and all Mountain Athletes. Back here at the Appalachian Wireless Arena, as you see, Johnson Central trailing McGolfin by eight here, 56-48 with 7.21 to go in this convenient drug fourth quarter. Here we go, Kevin Keithley. You see him coming out. Setting up their defense, kicks it over, Whitaker. It's like McGolfin County's just trying to get out of here. They're trying to escape. They're not trying to put the foot on the pedal. Pull up by Barnett, off the mark. Rebound by Montgomery. Sloan on the push. Out to Shepard. The swing. Corner pocket, off the mark. Kyle Rose with the rebound. Meets. Rush that one, Coach. Absolutely. I think he was surprised he got the ball there. Braden Barnett, Aiden Barnett directing traffic. You know, Coach and you know, Noah Sammons, they brought Noah Sammons in to kind of contain Shepard. Whitaker, big bucket there from the free throw line area. Ten point lead, McGolfin County. Green. Shepard off the mark. Rebound put back. Austin Sloan cleaning up the mess. Here comes the Hornets the other way. Salyers. Good pass into Whitaker. Whitaker, same spot, different result. Got it to go. Weak side rebound by Sammons. Oh, my. 10 point lead, 60 to oh, 50. Oh, nice screen out top. Sloan. <laughs> Did you He's see that screen? That was the mother of all screens, Daryl. Yes, it was. Kicks it out. Whitaker. Over to Salyer. Salmons. Sinks it. Back and forth we go. Yes, we do. I'll tell you, Coach, I'm out of breath and I ain't even playing. Sloan, pull up. That's why you stay with the score. And that's not a bad foul there. No. Mason McKenzie getting ready to check in. Amanda Edwards says, I work at Double Quick and co-run. McGolfin has the sweetest, most respectful fans and team. Josh Newsom says, how many fouls has Barnett committed? One. One foul. Barnett goes Got up it. strong. That's one that Corey Hayes training system. Yes, one foul. Giving 23 on the night. There you go, Sloan. Montgomery from the foul line. Big Dawson. bucket by Dawson Montgomery. I'm telling you, that kid has come up huge. Both teams have hit their last four field goals. If you're the Golden Eagles, you got to find a stop. Got it. Again, Grayson Whitaker with a huge trifecta. Three guys pizza and brew, three-point basket. Sloan going right at him. And 
Coach, you, they're, you go ahead. They're content with this. They're trading threes for two. They are. And what all JC's doing is setting a ball screen for Sloan. Yeah, I mean, how can you, you know, right now. Full timeout. Yeah, they take the full, we will too. Eastern Kentucky understands the importance of taking care of one another. That's why after graduation, I came home. 25 years later, I've put together a team at Glen Martin Hammond Law Offices dedicated to fighting for your legal rights. When you're dealing with a sensitive legal issue, you want someone who will take care of you as a person, not just another case. Our team will help you through the legal process of social security, personal injury, work injury, car wrecks, wrongful death, medical malpractice, and nursing home neglect. Call us today. Hello, I'm Dr. Alan Baldwin here at Maynard Chiropractic. For nearly 20 years, Maynard Chiropractic has been the gold standard of chiropractic care in Eastern Kentucky. We have two convenient locations in East Point, Kentucky on US 23 on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. and on Tuesday and Thursday in Rock City and Paintsville. So give us a call here at Maynard Chiropractic at 606-886-3737 and schedule your appointment with Better Health today. You see that young man right there, Austin Sloan, has played wise beyond his years, just a freshman, but this young man with the ball, Aiden Barnett, has not been stopped, Coach, playing that bully ball with that Corey Hayes training system muscle behind him. Really, really been patient with the ball Barnett has. Another one. Off the mark. Shepard. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Fans not happy with that call, guys. I didn't see anything. I saw it poke from behind. McKenzie checking in. They said, how many fouls does Sloan got, Thomas? One. Important possession here now for Johnson Central. They're going to keep going to Sloan. Yep. And why they have all night? Why not, Coach? If it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? That is your playbook. Swings mm -hmm. it over. Montgomery off the mark. Walker Russell's done a nice job rebounding tonight. Barnett getting downhill in a hurry. Left it short on that one. Back over. Good ball movement. Barnett. Off the mark, Kyle Rose. Don't call the foul. Wait a minute. <clears throat> wow, physical 15th reach of basketball tonight. I'm not sure what the official got there. And they got a foul after the foul. And J.R. Van Hoos not liking it, so I guess. J.R. Van Hoos needs to, uh, he's an assistant coach. He needs to get back on the floor, on the sidelines. Uh, uh, Coach McKenzie's trying to get him back on the sidelines there. Zane Whitaker saying team up. That should have been a technical. What did they do? You, look, you see McGolfin County trying to get uh, Johnson Central's fans to cheer for them there. <laughs> a little well, confusion. Officials, officials are talking it over. Assistant coach came all the way out on the floor. Yeah, it would be interesting to see how they do it here. That's what Castle. If I'm Scott yeah. Castle, I'm following them. I yeah. mean, they didn't call it one. Right. They'll call it one way. Yep. Oh. Castle upset. Wow. Apparently they hit Barnett with a foul, then a technical foul. Oh, wow. That's what I'm thinking. Long hits that one. What a game. Hit that like and share button. <laughs> Coach, this is the one you let your. Maybe, I don't know. What did they call? He went from one foul to three on the board. It, it, was, uh -huh. a, it was a personal foul and then a technical foul on Barnett. No, you got the. Media timeout now. Media timeouts. Guys, let your friends, let your neighbors know we are live here 
nearly 1,000 people tuning in. Hit that like and share button. We'll be right back for the final 327. When it comes to burying a loved one, you need to make sure that they're left in the right hands. That's why you need to call Crumb Funeral Home. Located in Inez, Kentucky. You can give them a call today at 606-298-0602. Located on 498 Kentucky Route 3 North in Inez, Kentucky. Give them a call today. Crumb Funeral Home. I'm Bruce Walters with Bruce Walters Key in Pikeville, Kentucky. We have the area's largest selection of new Kias and more arriving daily. Come shop us in Pikeville. I guarantee you, you'll find the Kia for you. At Bruce Walters Kia, your new Kia comes with a 10-year, 100,000-mile warranty. Also at Bruce Walters Kia, you'll get free oil changes for life. Finding your new Kia is easy. Come shop us in Pikeville or shop us online at BruceWaltersKia.com. Whether you're trying to hit the trails in style or you're trying to protect your side-by-side, -side, call J.I. Fab in Pikeville, Kentucky. They got great deals on roll cages, rock sliders, bumpers, nerf bars, and more. Remember, for all your custom ATV, UTV parts, J.I. Fab is your one-stop shop for everything. Back here at the Appalachian Wireless Arena, Kevin Keithley, Thomas Rainey, Daryl McCoy on the call with Joe Kinzer on the stats. McGolfin County leads Johnson Central 68 to 59 with 327 to go here in this convenient drug fourth quarter. Can McGolfin County hold on? They've kind of been, it seems as though sleepwalking for most of the second half. Johnson Central taking advantage. You got Meeks with the ball out top. Meeks over to Sloan. Both, both fan bases are getting right. loud, Daryl. No, it's McKenzie out top. Yes, they are, Thomas. We can barely hear each other. Uh-oh, alley-oop. Guys, how about that play call? Right. Coach, that's gutsy. A little Seven trickery. Lead. There you go. Got it over. And it's out of bounds. Johnson Central ball. Playing very lackadaisical basketball right, right now in McGolfin County. Only word to describe it. Got to get focused right now for this final three minutes. Yeah. <clears throat> A trip to the 15th region championship is on the line. Mason McKenzie has the ball out top. Wings it over, back to McKenzie. There he goes, Coach McKenzie. Coach, they need to speed it up a little bit here. Sloan, middle of the floor. And now, freshman eighth grader mistake there. That is the first turnover in the second half for Johnson Central. Wow. They had 10 in the first. Barnett. He's over. Back out. No hurry. No. You got the lead, you sit on it. And Johnson Central, guys, only has one team foul. I got me, I'm telling you, yeah. those passes are soft, Daryl. You better go ahead and get in the fouls, Coach, if you only got one team foul. Oh, Sayers turns his ankle. Those passes by McGolfin County, Daryl, I mean, they have no zip to them. Hopefully it's okay. Oh, hanging on Barnett. Third team foul. Coach, Sat, go ahead. Aiden Barnett, people don't realize what a special athlete that young man is. Could play Division I basketball or football if he had to put his mind to either one. Either one he wanted to, he could have done. Stopping it back out. Under two to play. You had to dump down to Russell. Didn't see him. Got to dump down to Russell. Yeah, wide see. open. Yeah, Barnett. Oh. <laughs> He's uh, talking to the camera. 
<laughs> he's telling everybody in Sayersville, have faith in Barnett. I believe that's what he said. Hey, right now, Barnett for mayor, they're saying. Barnett. Pete Shepard's worried. If Barnett runs, I think he might have him. Sorry, Pete. Forget Barnett for mayor, Barnett for ju county judge executive. <laughs> Barnett looking to convert on a second free throw. Free throws down the stretch. Going to be ultra critical to get out of here with the W. Barnett. And who do you talk to with three cameras in there? Of course you go to D&D. &D. There you go, meet. And got, guys, we was talking about that, Coach. I'm telling you, you know, Barnett, he'll end up playing college ball somewhere. Good. Yeah, Johnson Central player blocking. Good, yeah. good. Good deal by Meeks. That was a smart play. Yeah, smart play. You know where Austin's going. Nice drive. Simple ball screens, Daryl. Get elite scorers open. Listen, they so will. Key key fact. That's the last time out for McGoff or for Johnson Central. Oh, Johnson Central's last time out, so that is huge. As you're sitting over there right now. Listen, I, I can tell you, I would not want to be in this situation because McGaw or Aiden Barnett, he's 15th Region Player of the Year for a reason. 3,000 career points, Coach. Games like this, he don't lose in situations like this. A minute nine, you think he's going to let his team lose. Listen. Here's what's going to happen. Ain't nobody else going to get the ball. Yep. I mean, it's going to be his time for the last – Minute nine seconds. And it should if, be. And if McGoffin County hangs on and wins this game, if I'm Coach Castle, I have a long powwow with my team after the game before the championship, especially before the championship game on Monday if they make it. Johnson Central has shot 76% from the floor in the second half. Been little, to, little to no defense. McGoffin County has slept walked through the second half in my view. All right, Sayersville. All right, Johnson Central. We laid the challenge out. Martin County had 1.2. You're at 1.1. Yep. All right, here we go. 107 to play. Get it up there. Anthony Wyron says he knows one college that is interested in Barnett. Well, Coach, I've spoke to three that's interested in him, so he'll end up getting, you know, he'll land wherever he wants to go. Just one of the best that we've ever seen in the D&D &D air. Barnett with the ball. Here he goes. Nice step through, Barnett. Coach. I mean, he's just like a runaway train. There goes Sloan right back at him. This is what on. Sloan can look like if he hits the gym like Barnett did. Yeah. He, he's a you downhill look, guy. You look at the body of Aiden Barnett, if Sloan really hits the gym over the next three years, Coach. He can be an Aiden Barnett. He's already halfway there. Oh, I mean, yeah, he's yeah. got the downhill game, but just yeah. the strength is the difference. And Daryl hit the nail on the head about Aiden Barnett. He's the James Harden of the 15th region. Yeah, he, he plays his games a lot like you, him. You hit the nail on the head, Daryl. Song. Sinks it. Substitution's coming. No, they're getting, is that Tanner Castle maybe? Is that who that is? Number 15. Checking in here. Yeah, they're getting the Ogre Meeks in. Timeout, out. out. Like County. So they're Second taking a full timeout. We'll jump out with them. Be right back on the D&D &D Sports Network. Smoking Hot Vape Shop in Inez, Kentucky carries a wide selection of disposable vapes, juice, mods, batteries, and accessories, as well as a great selection of Delta products. Smoking Hot guarantees authenticity of products and allows you to try before you buy on disposable products using a sanitary test tip. Open seven days a week. Stop in and check them out. Find them on Facebook or visit their website, SmokingHotKY.com, for complete hours. Stop by and see your friends at the end of Route 3. Looking for a new pharmacy? Howard Family Pharmacy offers fast and friendly service and convenient drive throughs at both locations. All right, here we go. 
Thomas, Final. you ask. 1,200 people has tuned in. <laughs> they said they weren't going to be outdone. Picks up the Barnett. Barnett gets the foul. Going to shoot two. That's not what you wanted if you're a Golden Eagle fan. Let Barnett get the inbounds pass so easily. And McGolfin certainly, they are just playing back and forth basketball right now. Knocks the first down. 73, 65, eight point game, three possession. Unbelievable game here. Hey, I'm gonna say something. Johnson Central, they're, they're still in this. They're not out yet. Plenty of time. Got it. Over to Meeks, up to Shepard. Shepard. Yeah. Got rebound. it to go. Yeah, rebound and put back. Seven point ball game. Had a wide open Walker Russell. Guys, since we got two 57th district teams here, we do got some breaking news. 57th district. Former 57th District player Brady Dingus will be playing in March Madness. More head wins. Watched their semifinals game last night, and unbelievable Moorhead just has so many weapons from deep. Short. Now, Daryl Brady, he was a starter since he was in seventh grade when he was in high school, right? I can't remember if he started his seventh grade year but I do know he did his eighth grade. Okay. Got it. Right. John Central, here comes Braden Shepard. Cut and finish. Shepard with the rebound. And that should be it, guys. Victory formation here. McGoffin County players celebrating. McGolfin County fans celebrating. Look at this. Guys, this right here, we talked about everybody else's crowd. I don't know McGolfin <laughs> don't got the best crowd here. Aiden Barnett turns the crowd and goes, no, you're right. Best turnout by a fan base so far, Daryl. Uh, I agree, Coach, and I you mean, see him. If you look up in the back, I mean, it is full. He, this is Mr. Not as a top two, not two. Yeah. That's it. 10 point lead. It'll be McGolfin in Martin County. Three pointer no good. Rebound by Whitaker. So we'll be in victory formation. Look at this. Congratulations to the Hornets. Special, special season here continues. Barnett just threw it up. Rock the rim. Rocking the rim. Aiden Barnett. Wow. Guys, we're going to take jump out real quick for a commercial break. We'll be right back for the smoke or Southside Buildings and Carport post game show where we will name the Tommy Auto Sales player of the game. Come right back and join us. If you're looking for a small town pharmacy that will treat you like family from the second you walk in the door, you're watching the 2024 15th Region Tournament. Live with tax season coming up, make the smart decision with your money. Stop at Tommy's Auto Sales in Inez, Kentucky. Right now you can get cars, trucks, and SUVs at the best prices around. Tommy's Auto Sale is a proud supporter of the Martin County Cardinals and all mountain athletes. I'm Ashley Tackett-Lafferty, and for the last four years, I've worked hard to deliver millions of dollars in funding for Floyd and Pike counties. I've fought hard as your representative to bring good jobs back to our prison and wheelwright, to finally complete the 680 connector between Minnie and Harold, and to four-lane the Mountain Parkway through Prestonsburg. My voting record in Frankfurt proves that you can count on me 
to defend our traditional mountain values and protect our working families in Eastern Kentucky. I care about the future of our families and I'll never quit on Eastern Kentucky. Re-elect Ashley Tackett Lafferty. She fights for us. Smoking hot vape. We're here, guys, at the Southside Buildings and Carport post-game show. Thomas Rainey, Kevin Keithley, Daryl McQuinn, Joe Kinzer here on the call. We just see McGoffin County take down 57th District foe, Johnson Central, 77 to 67. Guys, what a magical performance here. Johnson Central gave it everything they had, but it was the McGoffin County Hornets holding ground. Coach? Tommy's Auto Sales Player of the Game. Aiden Barnett, no doubt about it. The senior, 31 points, done a tremendous job from start to finish, really keeping the ball in his hands and dictating what McGolfin County did offensively. Credit Aiden Barnett, 31 points. Got out in that big-time lead, 22 points, Daryl, and that could have been the worst thing that happened to McGolfin in the second half. They kind of coasted in that second half. Yeah, coasted through that second half there as uh, – I mean, it was tough, you know, and all of a sudden whenever they had the Chris Stapleton song playing, Coach, it lit a fire under Johnson Central. They came back, and I tell you, the two freshmen, then Sloan and Shepard, both of them gave it everything that they had, just could not come away with it at the end. It was too much Aiden Barnett, too much McGoffin County. Timely threes by Whitaker, Sammons, Walker Russell played really strong. But the X factor in this game was Zane Whitaker, who protected the rim, Coach. I don't know how many blocks he ended up with, but I would say somewhere around that 7-8 mark. Yeah, I agree. In the first half, McGolfin County, when they were dialed in and focused, they looked like the team that we saw against Johnson Central a few weeks ago when we called that game. They were dialed in, locked in to the scouting report, and really just dominated Johnson County uh, Central in the first half. Second half, it, it was almost as if McGolfin County, even though Johnson Central cut it to seven, six multiple times, it was as if they, it was kind of, hey, we, we're going to take care of this lead. We're going to finish the game out. Aiden Barnett advances to the 15th Region Championship, Daryl McCoy, and we'll get a rematch with Martin County. Joe Kinzer, what did you uh, get on the final breakdown? All right, here we go. McGoffa County shooting overall 23 of 55, 42%, 9 of 26 from behind the three-point line, just over 33% of the game. Now, Johnson Central, to get back into this shindig, shot 74% from the floor in the second half. It was state road defense for the Hornets uh, in the third and fourth quarters. 24-54 shooting, 44% overall, 6 of 17 from behind the three-point line. Uh, rebounding, Johnson Central plus three, 24 to 21. Turnover, story of the game, 11 for Johnson Central, only one in the second half. McGoffin County valued the basketball, only four turnovers, and uh, McGoffin County was plus nine on points off turnovers. So the points off turnovers and the three uh, uh, plus three on the three point field goals made by McGoffin County, those were the two glares on the stats tonight. Hey, listen, everybody's thinking, well, you know, McGoffin did great. Listen, hats off to Johnson Central. Absolutely. How easy would it have been to be down 23 at the half when you couldn't get nothing to fall in the first half to just mail it in? You know what I'm saying, Coach? I, I agree totally. Johnson Central, uh, Tommy McKenzie, you better believe he's not going to allow his team to quit and roll over. And uh, they were able to cut this to single digits, but never able to get over the hump. McGolfin always seemed to be like, you know what? Enough, enough, enough is enough. Let's get the ball to Barnett and let him make plays. Especially for freshmen like that, it would have been real easy just to roll over. But, you know, credit this young team, Tommy uh, McKenzie, had, on, had, a, had a really good game plan coming out of the locker room. You know, they got Braden Shepard going, which ended up freeing up Austin Sloan. Kyle Rose played a really good second half. Sure did. Uh, Dawson Montgomery come up with clutch baskets. Guys, this was, you know, no reason to hang your head. A magical season. Nobody. Coach, we talked before the season. We thought Johnson Central was in the basement of the 15th region. 
Well, we watched them in, uh, during the summer, Daryl, and <clears throat> they were getting <laughs> getting it handed to them pretty yeah. handedly. Yeah. And the improvement they made from start to finish, unreal. Unbelievable. But, Unbelievable. From but they really grew up, Daryl, over the year. Every game you saw them getting better and better and better. And you saw, listen, if you don't know who Austin Sloan is, <laughs> you do now. <laughs> you, you absolutely do. That kid is a freak of nature, guys. You know he he's he's going to he's going to be a problem for people in the 15th region for years to come. You know it was Aiden Barnett, obviously player of the game, but the kid, the two players that stepped up was the Whitaker boys to me. Grayson Whitaker dropped 20, and then Zane Whitaker with that defense in the first half, he was blocking everything inside. I think that was the difference. Unbelievable! No, you're spot on, Zane Whitaker. Yes. You know his paint presence was the difference maker tonight and the reason they was able to win. Because if you don't have a Zane Whitaker, you got wide open layups by Austin Sloan at the rim. Exactly. Yep. Just like he did the night before when they played Floyd Central. You didn't have a Zane Whitaker type player back there to contest. Yep. And I think that's what held him back in the first half. Well, McGoffin County held Sloan to seven points the game prior. Uh, held him to eight points in the first half. Second half, McKenzie never went away from Sloan, and that's the difference. He believed in Sloan, ran the same sets, same pick and roll sets in the middle of the floor. Sloan just got going, and uh, McGoffin County, they took the foot off the pedal a little bit and wasn't as aggressive at shot hunting and sliding over to help. Now you're, you're spot on, Coach. That, yeah, right there, Tommy McKenzie believed in his star, and uh, his star kept him in and almost helped him win this ball game. Guys, you're watching the Southside Buildings and Carport post-game show. We want to thank the fine folks that made tonight's game possible. State Representative Ashley Tackett Lafferty, Crumb Funeral Home, City of Co Run, Pike County Sheriff Rodney Scott, Hot Rods Pizza, Love Homes, Matt Hager Law, Hilton Homes of Ival, Southern Prep, Pike County Attorney Paul Howard Jr., Jeremy Penson and our friends at Punk's Tires, Hall and Jones Funeral Home, Pike County District Judge Robbie Wright, Sayersville Funeral Home, Tommy Maynard Auto Sales in Inez, Mexican Restaurant in Inez, Smoking Hot Vape Shop, Man Toyota, man, what a deal, Howard Family Pharmacy, Corey Conley at Conley Brothers Giovanni's and Convenient Drug, J.I. Fab, Southside Buildings and Carports, Glenn Martin Hammond, Attorney at Law, 606 Hemp, Corey Hayes at Hayes Training System, Pike County Jailer, Brian Morris, Dr. Alan Baldwin at Maynard Chiropractic, Kirk Law Firm, Custom Print and Design, uh, Rock Fork Regular Baptist Church, Solid Rock Development, Personal Injury Lawyer Ray Jones, at Sloan Chiropractic, and Johnny B's Pizza. As a proud sponsors that made tonight's broadcast possible. Guys, Monday night is the championship. It's a all 57th district final with McGoffin County versus Martin County. Darrell McCoy, is it going to be <laughs> any more intense in this building between fan bases and players? No love lost between them two communities either. You know, it's, it's going to be a fierce, fierce competitive atmosphere, fierce rivalry game that you're going to get to watch for one of them will go back to Rupp Arena. And I'm telling you, uh, if if it's Martin County going back, magical story, guys. Everything that community's been through, I mean, they. Th I promise you, there was nobody that's faced, you know, the adversities that Martin County has over the last two years. And then if it's McGoffin County, man, what a story. Aiden Barnett, seven years, first time on a region stage, possibly going to Rupp Arena. No matter what, this place right here will have standing room only on Monday night. Has Aiden Barnett saved his uh, the last what the, the best for his last season? We're gonna find out. Can he get to Rupp Arena? It's gonna be interesting. Big time journey. Three big ball games tonight, and now uh, you had Pike for winning the girls championship. Martin County winning the first one, McGoffin winning the second one. Joe Kinzer, we want to thank you for coming over and joining us on this great Saturday of basketball. Uh, glad you got to come over and hop on the broadcast of such a big stage. I tell you what, I really do appreciate you guys. I appreciate D and D for allowing me to help out a little bit this year, and uh, I really had a great time. And I really do appreciate y'all just let me uh, come in and just hang out with you guys. I, it's been real. It's been a treat for me. I, I just want. I appreciate it. Well, we're honored. You're a legend, Joe. So, uh, yeah, I appreciate it. 
Yeah, we love calling it with you here. But, guys, want to thank everybody that tuned in tonight and everybody that hit that like and share button. For Kevin Keithley, Thomas Rainey, Daryl McCoy, Joe Kinzer, till next time, so long and good night.